JavaScript constants are values that are fixed. For example, in this script, we're adding two values, 5 and 6, together and outputting the result in a paragraph with the ID math. The values that we're adding are fixed values, 5 and 6. The value of these numbers is not dependent on any other factor. The 5 will always be 5, and the 6 will always be 6, unless we change them in the script. Let's preview this file to see the result in our web browser. Here we can see the outputted result 11. Constants can be in the form of numbers, both whole and integer, or strings. Strings are written within double or single quotes. We'll go ahead and change one of these values to a string. Now when we save the file and reload our web browser, we can now see that my text is joined with the value 6. We touched on variables in the introduction of this course. Variables are a very important concept to understand when it comes to programming in any language, including JavaScript. Unlike JavaScript constants, variables are named containers that can store a single value or multiple values. These values can change based on user inputs or other factors. Let's take a look at a basic example of how variables can be used to store values. In this JavaScript code, we've declared three variables, variable x, y, and z. You can think of each variable as a container. The variables each contain their own value. The value of variable x is 10, the value of variable y is 15. The value of variable z is equal to the sum of variable x and y, which in this case would be 25, or 10 plus 15. Now let's output the value of c using the getElementById output method. We'll output the result in a paragraph with the id demo. Now let's save our file and preview it in our web browser to see the results. Here we can see our heading, JavaScript variables, and our paragraph, working with variables. And underneath that, we can see the result has been outputted. So variable x has been added to variable y, and the result has been outputted to 25. In our example, the x, y, and z name we attach to the variable are known as variable identifiers. Each variable you declare must have a unique identifier. We use very short identifiers, but as we progress through the course, we will be using more descriptive identifiers. For example, color, shape, size, age, and weight. These would all be considered more descriptive. There are some general rules when selecting identifier names. Names can contain letters, digits, underscores, and dollar signs. Names must begin with a letter. Names are case sensitive. Reserved words, like JavaScript keywords, cannot be used as names. JavaScript variables can hold numbers, 
like 100 or 10.5 or text values, for example, John Smith. Text values are known as text strings. Strings must be written in single or double quotes. Numbers can be written without quotes. If you put quotes around a number, it will be treated as a string. For the sake of this example, let's change our numerical value 15 to a text value. Now when we save our file and refresh our browser, we can see that the numerical value 10 stored within the x variable has been attached to the string contained within variable y. The output is contained within variable z, which equals x plus y.